Okay, so let's use energy. Energy is always my favorite way to do this, I'm just gonna say. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, we've got the length of the incline, we've got the height of the plane, right? Okay. So this is uh, 0 0.56 meters, and then this length here is uh, 2.60 meters long. Uh, we've got this unique circular solid, which which is just a circle. It's just a sphere, right? Okay, rolls down from rest, right? Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to say MGH is equal to uh, kinetic energy, so linear kinetic energy, 1 F mv squared plus 1 half I omega squared. <clears throat> and now we do the the uh, standard substitution, right? Uh, we're going to make everything linear, right? So I'm going to go, that equals uh, 1 half mv squared plus, and then it's 1 half, 2 fifths mr squared. And then our velocity, our omega, is just v divided by r, right? So I'm going to go uh, linear velocity over r squared, right? So now I've got mgh uh, equals uh, 1 half mv squared, right, plus, and then the 2 and the 2 go away, so I've got 1 fifth, and the r squared and the r squared go away, so 1 fifth mv uh, squared. The m's also go the way of the bison, right, and then we've got... Uh, Five tenths uh, v squared plus two tenths v squared, right? Which is holy calculator math seven tenths v squared, right? So now we can solve for uh, v, I guess, right? So 10 gh over seven equals v squared. So V, the bottom of the plane, is um, square root of 10 GH over seven, right? So let's figure that out. So I'm gonna go 10 times 9.8, one times, uh, uh, what's the height? 0.56 over 7. And hopefully we'll get you know, the right answer here. So square root of square root of 10 times 9.81 times 0.56 divided by 7. I think that's it. 2.801 meters per second. So that is our velocity at the bottom of the plane, right? That's how fast it's going. Okay, but now, now what we have to do is we have to figure out um, what the acceleration is, right? And we don't have any room to do it in. Could I do it here? I could do it right here. Okay, so so typically what I'll, what I'll do is uh, since we have the length of the plane, we don't have the time, we don't really care about the time, um, I'm going to use v squared is u squared plus 2as. So the final velocity is uh, 2.8014 uh, squared is 0 squared plus 2 times the acceleration times 2.6 meters. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to take that number, square it, divide by 2, divide by 2.6, and I get 1.509. The acceleration is 1.509 meters per second squared. Okay, always my favorite way to do it is energy. I'm just going to say, 